Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a comparison video for two special editions of the same title. Uh, the special editions are of Carrie, and both were released in 2014 in honor of the book's 40th anniversary. It was originally published in 1974 and was Stephen King's first published novel. The UK edition was published by PS Publishing, and the US edition was published by Cemetery Dance. So I'm going to do a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison and compare and contrast these two very different but very worthy editions of this landmark book. So the PS Publishing Edition was published um, in two states, numbered and lettered. Uh, 974 numbered copies, 26 lettered copies. Only the lettered copies are signed by Stephen King. This is a numbered edition, which is still signed um, by the artists, the um, writers of the writer of the introduction, uh, the contributors to the title. So it is cool to have some actual real life signatures in there. It says limited to 974 slipcase copies. This is copy 73. It's cool that there's a smaller limitation. It's cool that each one is individually numbered. Makes it feel a little bit more exclusive. This is um, the only book that I own that is remarked. This was remarked in 2014 by the artist uh, Glenn Chadbourne. It's kind of a grisly image, but um, this was my very first favorite Stephen King novel. And uh, I'm really pleased with having, if there was gonna be a title in my collection to have this special treatment, I'm really glad that it's Carrie. But anyway, we'll start with the slipcase. The slipcase is pretty cool. It's pretty unique. It's decorated or designed to look like a program from the spring ball of 1979 for Chamberlain High, which is featured um, very prominently in the novel. Uh, and this one apparently survived the black prom somehow, um, or maybe this was before the school burned down. But anyway, it's, it's a program for the prom that is covered in bloodstains, which I think is kind of a gruesome but effective image for the slipcase. Um, P.S. goes all out with their art. They have some people that really like their stuff and some people that don't like it so much, but one thing you can't fault them for is commissioning a lot of art and putting it all over these releases. Here's the slipcase. The dust jacket features a wraparound artwork of Chamberlain in flames and Carrie post-prom making her fateful way home to see Mama. So jumping over to the Cemetery Dance edition, this was 3,000 copies, um, not signed by Stephen King, not numbered, just 3,000 copies of this gift edition. It was also released in 750 copies of an artist edition, and I believe 52 lettered copies of a lettered edition. Um, each one is different, features different trim levels. The lettered is, of course, the most deluxe. Um, interestingly, none of the Cemetery Dance editions are signed by Stephen King, even the lettered one. But, jump in the slipcase slipcase for the Cemetery Dance Edition is, it's very handsome. It looks very nice. It's, it's very uh, minimalist. It's black, sort of glossy finish, nice um, bright foil lettering on the case. Not as elaborate, even remotely as elaborate as the PS Publishing one, but pretty nice in its own right. Also features a wraparound dust jacket artwork of Carrie at the prom. The art um, in this edition was again done by Glenn Chadborn, um, sort of as a secondary artist, but the primary artist was Thomas Love to Kulin. And their art is really interesting uh, sort of comparison because 
Tomislav's art is um, much more polished, uh, and Glenn Chadbourne's art is has this really interesting tactile, um, cross-hatching, textured ink style, which is fascinating and, and so full of detail. Uh, it just, I would say neither one is better than the other, but, but they are different, and it is interesting to compare and contrast them. Underneath the dust jacket, the Cemetery Dance Edition is it very much um, resembles the slipcase, in fact. It's, uh, there's nothing wrong with this. It's a very handsome uh, looking black um, boards. Nice all the way around, very good quality. The PS Publishing continues the highly illustrated um, approach that they take to every aspect of the books that they release, and it, it replicates the dust jacket artwork. So the boards are printed, it's a glossy cover, and so yeah, that's that. Um, inside, inside the PS, and illustrated end papers that are not the same, they are different from each other. It's very cool. And um, seriously, with PS, the artwork is profuse. The books are just loaded, and it sometimes happens with PS. It is printed directly into the book block. Some, um, some publishers will print the artwork separately on special glossy stock or something different and then tip it or lay those sheets into the printed block. But in this case, PS has printed the artwork directly into the page block. I understand that it's more expensive to do it that way. Um, I think that the PS books are good quality. I have no doubt that this is going to stand the test of time, but um, they don't come across as particularly expensive uh, in the way that they are produced, if that makes sense. So um, somehow I doubt PS pulled out all the stops and did something extra fancy um, when printing this book, but regardless, uh, the, they, the art still comes across very well. So there's, there's art, um, pictures of characters and scenes. There's also um, different types of artwork. This replicates the um, look of the slipcase, but it's just a lot less bloody. There is artwork, if I can find some. There is spot artwork printed uh, throughout the book, which is a really nice effect to go along with all of the artwork. Each part of the novel uh, is separated out and has artwork. I mean, it's uh, just a really nice, I'm always very impressed with how much artwork is in these books and how it comes across. Some of the artwork is in black and white. Some of the artwork is in color. With so much artwork, it gives uh, Chadbourne a great opportunity to represent just all kinds of scenes from this novel. And it's really cool to see some of these scenes depicted in artwork. So the PS edition has a forward by James Lovegrove and an afterward by Kim Newman. Lovegrove and Newman both signed the book along with artist Glenn Chadbourne. So it is a, it's a nice production, very uh, typical, very par for the course for PS Publishing. Depending on the artist, depending on the artwork, uh, depending on the decisions they make, 
some of their books I think fare better than others. The addition of Carrie is pretty solid. I, I'm a fan. The Cemetery Dance edition is not as profusely illustrated, but the illustrations that are there, this is what I was talking about with Tomislav Tekulin's style. It's smoother. They represent, um, him and Chadbourne represent some of the same scenes between the two versions. But Tekulin's style is just different. Um, if I had to pick between the two, I would probably say that I like Tekulin's style better, but I find, um, I find his artwork easier to take in at a glance, but Chadbourne's artwork keeps me studying the pictures because there's so much texture and detail. It's where the PS Publishing edition printed the artwork directly into the page block. Cemetery Dance includes the artwork on tipped in sheets. Um, the stock for these is a nice glossy stock. It's different than the rest of the um, paper used for the book. And that's the benefit of tipping it in is that you can go sort of next level with printing the artwork on a nicer type of paper. The uh, paper used in the Cemetery Dance Edition is sort of textured. Um, it's thick. There's a lot of substance to it. Um, one of the reasons that Cemetery Dance decided to commit to do the entire Double Day series is how notoriously poorly produced the original Double Day books were. And this was their attempt to try to bring quality, um, durable, designed to last editions to the market. And they really are cool. It has taken Cemetery Dance, um, what was initially, I think, supposed to be a six year process to get through six books is now, um, let's see, eight years in, and we have four books. But Cemetery Dance does sort of notoriously take a while to get books to market, but the work they do is very high quality. And as much as I have felt impatient from time to time waiting for a Cemetery Dance book to arrive, when I get it in hand, I always feel, I mean, once, once you have it, you have it. And the waiting all just sort of falls away. I've never gotten one of their books and thought, well, this really wasn't worth the wait. I would have loved for it to have been a quicker process, but now that I have it, it's nice and I'm glad I have it. Anyway, um... P.S. commissioned new, forward, afterward, which are really interesting to read. Um, Cemetery Dance, the uh, owner of Cemetery Dance, Richard Chismar, who's an author in his own right, is actually friends with Stephen King, which I think gives Cemetery Dance a bit of an inner track when it comes to producing works by Stephen King. For instance, um, the introduction in this version which I think is taken from um, some of the commercial like trade editions that were released. The introduction is by Stephen King and the afterword is by Tabitha King. So that's really interesting, especially as a means of comparison to get in the PS version, the perspective of two, um, two outsiders, uh, two people whose last name aren't, is not King, um, and to read their take on the book and the cultural impact, and then to read the much more personal uh, take by Stephen King talking about how he came to be inspired to write the novel in the first place, and then Tabitha King sort of relaying some of the, the great story of um, how Carrie was published and how it changed their lives and changed the trajectory of their whole family. Um, it's a great, great story. I'm, I'm a big fan. I love the idea of 
that he worked hard for so long and then his his big break came fortune came a call in he was able to quit teaching doing and she was able to quit doing all the menial jobs that she was doing he could write full time and the juggernaut of Stephen King was born and he was just in his 20s it blows my mind how young Stephen King was how discouraged he was because he had already been writing for so long um, several years but um, fortune hit early and he's been doing it ever since and I think the world is a better place it's my personal opinion. But while the PS Publishing Edition includes the forward and the afterward and the, the body of the book, the Doubleday Edition includes some special features. This is um, a scan of the carbon copy of the Doubleday editor, Bill Thompson's telegram to Stephen King, notifying him that Doubleday had approved buying Carrie. So that's pretty cool. That's the only uh, quote-unquote special feature, but it's a pretty, pretty powerful one. And then in the back, the original dust jacket artwork for the original hardcover release is reproduced. And I know I've said it before, but that is, while it's a very famous cover and very recognizable, it's terrible. It's a terrible cover for this book. If you've read Carrie, you know that that is not Carrie White. That is some sort of a fashion model that was hired by somebody who probably hadn't read the book. Um, or potentially it's supposed to represent uh, one of the pretty high school mean girls from the story. But I saw that cover image well before I ever read the book. And then when I read the book, I was like, that ain't Carrie. That's not Carrie. Anyway, so another thing that immediately sets these two books apart from each other is the difference in size. I'm going to try to line these up very, very precisely. So the Cemetery Dance, it's a big book. All the, all the Stephen King uh, special editions that they've done have been tall, oversized. This is 7 by 10 inch trim, the, which makes it really stand out. It feels very deluxe and very nice. The PS is much smaller, which almost seems to almost work as a detriment to it until you compare it to the first edition of Carrie and realize that it is very close. It's a little bit um, wider. The, pa the paper the paper is a, a bit wider on the PS edition, but it actually hues much more closely to the trim size of the original edition, which, I mean, PS, their books are just this size. I have a few of them, and this is just what they do. Um, and while, but in this case, and in the case of the original Double Days, uh, Salem's Lot, Shining, Stand, they haven't done the Shining uh, as far as I know, but Salem's Lot, the Stand, Night Shift, um, the small trim size actually kind of feels historically accurate, which is just a coincidence, but it's, I like it. I don't hold the size of the PS editions against the books. But anyway, as many detractors as PS seems to have, and as critical as some people can be about a new PS release, their books are good investments. Um, the this was um, I think around a hundred dollars. So it was priced in pounds, and I actually bought my copy from Cemetery Dance when it was first released, and um, the remark was was extra, of course, that wasn't free, but um, this book now is four or five hundred dollars, so 
it has been a, a good investment and has appreciated in value. And the Cemetery Dance Edition was $85, but it is much more common in that there were 3,000 copies produced as opposed to 974. And this book now goes for 200 to $250. I actually found mine at a local uh, half price books and uh, several years ago was able to use a coupon to get it for half price. So I think they had it listed for the original list price and so I got it for around 40 bucks. So I, I just love stories like that. I'm I love finding treasures, I love finding bargains. I am a collector, but I'm also a bit of a cheapskate. <laughs> and I don't have deep pockets. I don't exactly have shallow pockets, but I, I have slightly more than shallow, but far from deep pockets. So anytime I find a deal like that in the wild, it really makes my day. Um, but yeah, these are the two books side-by-sign side with their jackets in place. They are both worth tracking down. Um, if I could only pick one because of the size of it, because of the quality of the artwork, and because it has the foreword and the afterword written by Stephen and Tabitha King, respectively, I would recommend the Cemetery Dance Edition every title they've released in the Double Day Years uh, series. They've done Carrie, Salem's Lot, Shining, and Night Shift. They're all really nice, and I can't wait to see the whole series together on the shelf. I think it'll make a really nice library that sort of follows a general theme and is designed to look nice together and look of a piece, whereas the PS ones are all designed to they they share some qualities but they're all actually quite different from each other in terms of style and design um, but anyway thank you for your time i hope this has been interesting i hope that it has been useful and um, as always i appreciate you going with me on this nerdy journey and i hope you have a great rest of your day i will talk to you later bye